Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Science 3. Welcome back to my Hokai Impact 3. Anyway, last time I just show you guys the new event stage which is called Disaster. Now I'm going to show you guys the next event which is called Uninvited Guest. Anyway, basically in Uninvited Guest, they will provide you only 3 characters that are available to use which is Kiana, the creature version, and Helen, the meta version, and last but not least, we see Talisa, the creature version. So, yeah. Anyway, I basically recorded my voice in my software, so, because I didn't talk in the in the recording in my phone because I don't disturb or like say anything wrong because basically it was a lot of the game name that I don't know so I just got use the software to record basically you know what you know, over here I say a lot of things wrong in the next video so yeah anyway in only way to guess you need to fight with this creature which is called Annihilation Spirit and basically you can saw her a lot in the Sakuya minigame or the Sakuya stage I forgot what they call it, I just can't put a picture on the screen so you can know which one I'm talking about Anyway basically Annihilation Spirit can summon this all block thing that you need to be very careful of because like for example the ice one can just instantly kill you so you need to definitely stay far away from those and then the fire one there were two versions which is one like can create a explosion if you around it and then you only got three seconds to dash it and then the next one which is it like summon a bunch of I mean fireball and attack you and then you need to dash away from the fireball at the right time there was more about it, but for some reason this one, it only have 3 of them. So, yeah. In the Sakuya version, there was like fossil, and like some is like frozen you. Yeah, that's a lot. But there's, not, there's no instant kill version. That one is um, that one is not in the game. Maybe it will be in the another one, but who now? Anyway, on the second one, will be a lot harder because you are facing a level 50 version of the annihilated spirit I must say squid just now anyway basically both map you just need to use Kellen the whole time because basically she's the only one that are meta and meta is the only one that effective against creature version enemy so yeah, and obviously this Annihilation Spirit is a creature version so Meta character will be very effective against her. So we need to use Kellen the whole time because she's the only one that are high level and it's a Meta version. So yeah, well the objective is pretty simple, just use one ultimate skill, don't get hit for 35 times and create 2000 damage in the 3 seconds. I mean 8000 8, damage in the 3 seconds. So yeah, and as you guys can see I messed up already and if you messed up, you need to use Kiana and Teresa to stop her. And they are creature version, not high damage. So as mean this Annihilation Spirit can just easily destroy Kiana and Teresa because they are too weak and their creature version they can't do much. They only can stay back and just hope the best that they can create as much damage as possible before time running out. Talking about time, on top, top, on top of the center, there was this countdown thing that is your timeline. And if the time running out, it's an instant game over. If you didn't kill this annihilation spirit, it's game over. So you need to if you lost if you lost Kellen in like somewhere in the middle of a game while the boss still got so much life, it just like my situation. You are basically true and I just gonna show you guys what if if your guys game over. Just 
10 more seconds. Okay, now I, I, I decided to quit. Let me just show you guys the part where I record I'm dead. I really don't like this. I don't like this boss at all. And look, the time is already out. And I going to fail. Wow. So yeah, that's what happens, you basically lose, and I still don't get how we possibly can lose because we are high level and it's just a level 50 map, like come on, really? But oh well, we're just going to retry it and hopefully we can like defeat easily, but for some reason it's hard. But I'm pretty sure this mode is more about like testing you see whether you can like good at using can I learn to dodge like a pro player because I mean seriously really need a dodge from those block thing those block turret thing I don't want that actually call because you can't one dodge that thing so simple you are way bad at using cannon but still trust me you can't play around in this in the second version because it create a lot of damage this time the boss had more life so yeah Anyway, if you guys want to know what Kellen can do, well, basically, Kellen can basically just punch really fast, and when, each time when she punches, the damage will be higher and higher. And every time when she punches, she can charge her laser skill, which is right here on the center corner. And the more you charge, the more stronger laser will get. And then, even though if you dash from projectiles, your laser also can be charged too. And Kellen, if she didn't fully charge the laser, laser will be very weak, sometimes just like nothing at all, just uh, just like bullet shooting, so yeah. And when she used her ultimate skill or laser, she can dodge from enemy attack, even though it's like a punch attack, it will definitely miss. And when she activates her turret, she can attack enemy around with. Which is pretty cool but not much and what the turret basically do is just shooting laser. So yeah, that's how to use Talon and Talon is have one of the most smoother dodging skill ever. Anyway guys in the uninvited guest stage, you guys basically can do like about three quests, which I about to show you guys. We just need to go back to our home place. Very quick go here and just go to our mission place and then there we go there was like three of them and if you see all of them plus together in the end you need to like oh this it's fall in the end like all of them will tell you play that map for like five times so you basically need to wait until the next day to finish the last quest so yeah Alright guys, it's the next day and I'm going to finish the last one with, I mean the last uninvited guest stage But actually there's only two of them but since the quest called to play five times You can either play the weakest one which is the first one Or you can play the level 51 which is the second stage So yeah Anyway, basically I'm closing my recording of the game sound with my voice because I'm saying something not that interesting and not that important. But right here I'm telling you something important which is basically you can play like either two of the stages also can finish with the quest. If like if you guys really don't play that real you just wanna get the quest over with, just play the most simplest one. I shall guys want to challenge your guys self, you can just play the harder one so you can train your Kellen really really well, make her dash even smoother. So yeah, I was gonna show you guys the last time I played the hardest map, so I hope you guys enjoy. Anyway, back to my game show.
Are you kidding me? Oh well. It's dead anyway. Ah, I suck. No, I'm trying to know if the boss key on invisible. You you can't even want to hurt her. The only time when you can hurt her which is when she plays a box and when, every time when she plays a box you need to dodge those box and yeah it's just crazy. And plus the box damage is pretty huge which make it really really hard. So yeah. Okay I just finished the last quest. Oh, it's trough already? Well, wait, no, it's not yet. It's just 11.50. So, yeah, we get 50 diamond for that. And that's about it. Well, anyway, that's all day, guys. That's about it in the uninvited guest uh, event stage. So yeah, it's it's not really much you guys need to know. You guys just need to know it's all about testing you guys using Kellen to dash really really better. So when you guys play with that robot boss, I don't know, Godfather or something, you know, a lot easier and not that hard. But still, that that map is still pretty hard. I didn't beat the last one. That's all I can tell, guys. So yeah. Now anyway, that's all day guys. If you guys enjoy this video, just give a like and why not subscribe guys. Next part I will talk about Share Mesh Assault. I think that's how I pronounce it. Share mesh or share mouth. Share whatever. Now next part will be Share Mesh Assault, so see you guys next. Oh, sorry that I'm still alive. Wait, what happened? I can't see. Oh, wait, what? No, no, you gotta be kidding me.